Hello and welcome back to my garage. Today, oh joy, we have a great video. We're going to clean. I'm done with cleaning. I didn't want to do it anymore. Uh, it was so much time consuming and everything went wrong. My, um, how do you call, uh, call that thing? A uh, Staubsauger? Oh no, that's German. Uh, Staubsauger is Nederlands. Uh, well, water vacuum, oh yeah, vacuum. My, um, my shop vac uh, didn't, uh, well, decided to die. So there is now a small hint of burned little electric fairies in the shop. But the results are pretty decent. Is it perfect? No. There is still some here and there, but ah, I'm fine with it for now. Uh, it isn't going to be a complete restoration for now. I want to drive the car as soon as I can. I hope somewhere next summer that I can drive it. And well, maybe next winter I'm going to restore it completely or maybe the winter after that. But I don't know yet. Uh, for now, I'm happy with the results, but I am done with today. I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to be lazy on the couch.
well the cleaning is done and I want to motivate myself so let's see uh, what I bought first of all I've got two short end blocks this is a 3k engine and that is a 2k engine uh, also I've got a, a loose head some spare parts but uh, I will show you all this uh, 3k engine is for from a third generation Corolla you can see it by the reddish paint also the engine tag is in the back of the engine instead of here in the front or yeah here in the front and there are some minor differences between it like the transmission and engine bolts are the same size but the track pitch is different I am considering rebuilding this engine for the KA10. Uh, it will make a couple of good videos, I think. The 2K is a 1000cc engine, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I don't have any use for it. So maybe I sell it or make, a, make something of it don't know yet. I also have a loose head. It's a small port head but it is always welcome. Next up we have a uh, whole bucket of engine parts. These are all well, used parts of course. It is a uh, fully disassembled engine. That's weird. I never ever seen this nudge on a uh, timing belt cover. Oh well. Um, it has the uh, bearing end caps. Now the crank. The crank is in. Well, it did have a spun bearing. Maybe you can see it. Maybe you can't. Maybe I will light it out a little bit better. That's better. Did have a uh, spun bearing right here. So that one needs to be refurbished if I want to use it ever again. Uh, it is a former 3K engine. It's uh, stamped right here so you cannot miss it. 3k. An oil pump, some timing chain, a tensioner, uh, rods. Well, that one is uh, in very bad shape. Oh well. Some how do you call these? Lifters? They're called something else, but I don't know the name. Tap tappers. I believe it's called tappers in English. Some old uh, engine bearings. This this is the rod bearing. As you can see, it's uh, really worn. And a uh, camshaft, always welcome. Maybe I uh, let it regrind. And I have a set of uh, used pistons. I don't know if these pistons are from this engine. But yeah, th those are really good pistons. But I don't know why they replaced them. But they look all right to me. Not much wear. These are hard chrome. Uh, Ranks. You don't see them very much on car engines. Most of the time only on uh, industry engines they use uh, these hard chrome engines of uh, hard chrome rings. Maybe it was from a uh, forklift or something. Oh, but they uh, didn't replace the, the pins. That's a strange combination. 
Oh well, got some new pins. <clears throat> if it is an industry engine, maybe someone smart that is watching knows uh, where this uh, cover is from. It's fascinating. The first thing I want to do now is run to my computer and search because I fi find this kind of things very fascinating. Uh, got some uh, OEM ga head gasket. That guy got a lot of head gaskets. I believe the, he had a pack like, I think this thick. All original uh, head gaskets. So I think I'm going to uh, pick up some more. I've got this. It is a... Um, how do you call it? A... Uh, a piece from my high ace it is the well where you open it up the, the trunk or the, the the something I found it very uh, very nice I think I'm going to make this into a uh, a board you know so uh, a board bin, uh, beneath it so I can ride on it and this uh, on top yeah, with, with the lights I think I can make something uh, very nice uh, from this. Oh, I know something, I think. Oh, I think I'm going to light up my uh, Toyota Direct Surface board. I will show you. I think it's about the same size. Oh, that's cool. Sorry about the bad lighting, but that that thing, that's the, the sign I meant. It's an uh, old sign. And maybe if I put that bar on top of it, when I mount uh, this on the wall, I think that's going to be very cool. I got some used uh, KA30 handbrake cables. This is of course for the KA10. I think I need this to make the rear axle work with the braking and everything. Too bad uh, he hadn't uh, any new ones left. So, but for mock-up, uh, this must do. It is from a, a big company that produces uh, these and uh, it got from all kinds of Toyotas in here from uh, let's see uh, this is a, a K820 Toyota Starlet another Starlet K30 and a Carina he got uh, the whole s series of these uh, boosts. And it is in Dutch, so at least I can read it. I find uh, books like this very fascinating. I've got some uh, new uh, rods for uh, the K A of uh, the K3 and K4. He uses all the same rods. So I've got a set of those. I got a couple of these uh, pad plates or how do you want to call it for the, the Corolla. I had some of these but they were very thin and these look almost new. I just have to clean them up and uh, can use them. This is also for the rear brakes. I didn't have uh, these uh, these arms. I also got the rest of the necessary parts for the rear brakes. I didn't have that at all. You've got plenty, plenty of that stuff. So I'm very happy with that. And what's this? Bearing set. Oh, these are... Uh, eh? No. Oh, these are um, camshaft uh, bearings. New uh, camshaft bearings for uh, the K3 engine. Yeah. Always nice to have. It's a uh, Toyota original uh, part, so it must be good. Uh, bup, bup, bup. 
what do we have here? Oh, uh, fall seats. Original fall seats. <laughs> Stuff like this, I'm probably never going to use, but it's just. It's just nice to have this old stuff. I, I don't know, it's... It just satisfies my mind. It, it's... I don't know, I just like it. What do we have here? Uh, oh! Intake falls. These are... A set of original... Intake falls. This one is uh, out of its plastic, so it is a bit corroded, but this one is still fine. Bearing set. Bearing. Oh! Uh, rod bearings. Standard size, no oversized. Original part. Oh, another set of uh, falls. These are also intake. I believe he didn't have uh, any exhaust falls. Oh, another set of intake falls. Oh, another two sets of uh, rod bearings. Yeah, rod bearings. These are uh, some uh, unusual finds. I never ever thought I going to find these. Uh, these are original synchros for the gearbox. I'm really, really happy that I found a couple of these. I don't know if this gearbox is uh, is good or not. He didn't have any synchro synchros for the third and fourth gear, only for the one and two. And like most of you know, the second gear is almost always trash on gearboxes. So I'm really, really happy that I uh, got uh, a couple of those. These are all two, one, two, 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 one. This is in a smaller box, so why is that? Oh, here is a three on the box. Well, I uh, need to check the part numbers, but these are all synchros. And I've got a couple of uh, used drums because I didn't have those either. I also have a set of new pistons, but I didn't have enough money with me at the time, so I need to collect them uh, later. So yeah, I think uh, a very good haul. And that's it for today's video. I know it's a little bit short, but what do you expect? It's just cleaning and cleaning isn't fun and I think it's even less fun to watch so if I were you I will just skip this video but uh, we did get some uh, nice uh, new goodies so I'm really pumped to uh, get uh, working on that but yeah I'm going to close now if you like this video please like this video if you didn't like this video then by all means let me know why so I can improve my content Leave a comment, I really, really enjoy comments, and I will see you next time, bye!